Hello Taurus, it's Milady from Milady's Way Terry, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of November 6th through the 13th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I like to close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out of the book to ensure you get your full message. But you got some drunk, oh Jesus. Oh, so this makes me feel like somebody has been looking for something for a long time. They're looking for something for a long time. They felt like they found it, but it is a third party situation. So I feel like somebody found you. It seems like you wanted this person as well. Um, but this person has a third party situation, but I feel like you do too. And it seems like this secret is about to explode. Um, probably pretty soon, either this week or next week. So, um, I feel like it's a new situation. So you, you might want to drop that before it blows up. If it didn't blow up already. All right. So, um, I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing and setting up personal readings. If you like one, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up other than that. Let's get this show on the road. All right. What's going on for the Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus love reading November 6th through the 13th, 2017. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay, so sacrifices everywhere. Seems like um you guys are trying to make each other make a sacrifice. I feel like you want this person to sacrifice something and this person wants you to sacrifice something. But you're not willing to do it. So one party is willing to do it and the other party is not. Okay? Alright. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay. Um, as you can see, uh, I feel like the other party may be willing to um, sacrifice their third party, but you are not. Okay? Okay, wow. So it seems like the person you're dealing with, they are going back and forth in the relationship. Uh, they're fine with the situation. They go to the other person, or this could be you. Whoever is like saying, I'm not giving up my person. Yeah, somebody, whoever's not giving up their partner, they're okay with going back and forth and back and forth. But I feel like somebody, um, one person is okay and the other person is falling in love, okay? Falling in love with the sad piece. Jeez. All right. So this could be somebody you work with or people at your job found out about this or people that you trust found out about this, about you dealing with your boss. And it seems like our boss or somebody is supposed to be over with you, over you, or this person could be under you too. Um, but they're talking crap about it. You know, this one want to come out. So I'm going to bring this out too. Oh, uh, yep. Somebody's really starting to care about this situ uh, situation. Somebody's really starting to care about it. Okay. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, it seems like you may be the boss. You may be the boss. They want you to get rid of this person. You're like, no way. Okay. Like, I'm fine with this. You got yours. I got mine. That's how it's going to be. Okay. And now you're thinking about getting rid of this situation. You're like, what am I here for, you know? Um, I'm, I'm trying to leave my partner to be with you, but you don't want to leave with me, to be with me. What am I here for, you know? So you're thinking about leaving the whole situation. Mm. Okay, but this could be the other way around because I'm reading it as the victim. I don't know why. Okay, so it seems like Okay, let me try to clarify the sides here. So, everybody wants everybody to make a sacrifice, right? Um, okay, I'm going to just put it like you are willing to sacrifice your third party, but the other person isn't. The other person is used to going back and forth and back and forth. That's fine with them. You may be the boss here, but this could go either way as a personal... I mean, it's not a personal reading. So, uh, and this is like the boss is thinking about timing out, but it seems like somebody is linked by gifts. So it seems like the person, 
with the least amount of money is doing the most. It could be emotionally, though. Okay? That's at the bottom. So, yeah, there go those friends talking again. So, it seems like everybody's talking about this situation. You may be going to people for comfort, and they're coming back, and they're just talking about you behind your back, you know? I feel like they're trying to come up with plans to help you um, see what's going on. They might say this stuff to you, too, but, you know, I still feel like they might be talking crap about you. I'll have you back a little bit. All right, so, Taurus, Taurus, what's going on with Taurus? All right, so you could be dealing with Aries, or you just could be, like, well-structured, well-mannered. Well you could be, um... Uh, just always saying what you want, you know, um, you could be, you could even be getting ready to do, you might be new at this management position. Y'all could have been together before this. Um, Yeah, I, I just feel like you, you may be thinking about leaving, too, because you don't want it to mess up your career. Okay. All right. It's crazy. I'm sorry. I don't remember if that jumped out or or I put it out there. <laughs> All right, but let's go. Like I said in the beginning, I'll leave you straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. All right. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus love reading. Taurus love reading. What's going on? Taurus love reading. 11, 6 through 13, 2017, 6, 13, 17. Okay. All right, so it seems like somebody has a lot of thinking to do. Somebody is really up in their head about uh, what's going on with their life, you know? Can't sleep. You know, wake up like crying, like whatever happened in a dream is real, you know. Mm. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys may even have bags under your eyes. My eyes just felt like real puffy for a second. Um, so some of you guys are staying up all night crying. And I feel like this might be the one who actually want to leave their partner to be with the person on the side. But it seems like somebody just not communicating they love. Because they don't feel like that it's worth it. I'm sorry. Okay, so seems like somebody made their choice. Somebody made their choice about this love situation and then they're not gonna change it no matter what. And it's gonna cause some heartbreak. I'm sorry. Ugh, I hate this. Okay. So, um we got the swords here. The Nine of Swords says, dreams, nightmares, difficulty sleeping uh, may be present. Very stressful time is indicated. Yeah, because, like, you didn't fell in love with the side piece. And now, you know, they want to, they don't want nothing to change. They want things to stay exactly how they are. Okay? So now we got the Eight of Cups. And it says, it may be time to move on and start new, new plans. Do not let your pride stop you from making a change. I don't know why this feel like it's linked to the manager or the hierarchy aspect. It's like I'm used to getting what I want, give me what I want kind of thing. And it's like you won't let that go. Like, you know, I own you. I'm better than you. You should be doing what I tell you to do kind of thing. And I feel like it's like not going that way. Okay, now we got the two of swords. Two, two, two. Reverse, it says empty words insecure actions and lies so i feel like this is coming around with the i feel like it's just like little white lies to get somebody off their back about um being together like oh i gotta do this or i gotta take him or her to the hospital or you know our kids are sick you know somebody doing a whole lot of that little stuff to um get the person who wants the person to change off their back okay all right, so we got the Three of Swords, and it says a card of sadness, hurt feelings, a sense of loss, 
or misunderstanding. Unanswered questions, abrupt separation, a broken heart, whether in a relationship or in life, an ending of an affair, a bitter heartbreak, um, take care of emotional problems. So this, oh, I am so sorry. Um, this makes me feel like this relationship is over and it seems like the, um, it seems like you, whoever is the boss or makes the most money, that's the person that might leave the situation because they like, I don't, I just don't want to be here. I don't want to do this like this. Somebody wants more. Somebody used to getting what they want and they can't have what they want. So this may be the end. Okay, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you're on a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.